Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the English Campaign on Medieval 2 Total War. Last part, lot of things happened there, missions were flying left, right and centre. I got a bit overwhelmed, and oh, my brain went all in a tiz. But I've managed to calm myself down. I've done a bit of the, house, the old housekeeping in England, just to make sure everything is running fine. And I've recruited a new priest in Carnarvon, or recruiting a new priest in Carnarvon, to replace the beloved... Cardinal Aston, who is now once up in the heavens, and I don't have any cardinals now to become Pope. But that will change soon. Hopefully, I can get a guild, uh, a theologian's guild, sometime soon and start recruiting some decent bishops, and then I will take over the cardinals. But yeah, so everything is constructed now. Uh, I've managed to put some town watch in Dublin and disband the other troops, so I've saved some money there. Um, every other, so all the buildings that can construct are constructing once again. The Danes came into my lands in Cairn last turn and then went away again. Must have been here for a spot of sightseeing. Maybe to say hello. How are you? How's your father? Uh, we've got three generals down here who, yes, it's a little bit excessive at the moment, but once we start attacking France, those generals will come in handy. And the Danes um, are at war with the French, as you can see by the... Uh, oh no! I've mistaken myself here. I thought they were at war with the French. They're actually allies with the French. Ah, damn and blast. I was going to say, I thought they were actually enemies with the French because they're actually marching down in their lands. But they did that to me, and then they swan back off home. Maybe they just like to spy on their opponents. Right. Need someone removed. First things first. Reams, I think that's how you pronounce it. You have a target in mind, my king. Hmm. We can kill a spy here, fifty-three percent. Um, can't see any buildings. I'll try the spy. I'm just randomly killing people now to try and get his stats up. Just name the target, my lord. Actually, we'll kill the diplomat instead. Death. Oh, he missed this time. Okay. As you will. Continuing once I have rested. I'll get you next time. Don't you worry about that. Right, Antioch is Aleppo, sorry. Would be my next natural target down this side of the map. Hopefully the Turks won't take it. Um, we'll see how that goes. But to, for the meantime, we'll uh, consider which buildings to construct. Now, we've got a public order situation down here, so I'm going to try and build public order settlements wherever possible. But we need to trade as well, so I think port first, so, it, so we can send some ships across here uh, and take that land down there. Uh, I'll try a town hall for public order. Definitely land clearance, that'll also help with food supply and public order. And we'll leave it there for the moment. That should take the next three turns. Two turns, two turns, two. Six turns, actually. So that's the order of the day down in Antioch. And the army. Your will, sire. My lord. Sire. Orders. It's still. Your will, sire. Just about turning over nicely there. So, everything is looking good down in Antioch. Down in the Middle East, we have Adana. Steadily building away there. Ah, oh, and we can retrain some troops as well. Bonus. Antioch has just been freshly taken and he's constructing troops as well. Uh, constructing troop, constructing buildings as well. And fingers crossed, Aleppo will fall next. Even if the Turks take it, I might just start the war off now. We'll see how it goes. I would prefer to be more stable before we start attacking, but, you know, needs must. I need to expand my empire. We have got 11 regions, and we need 45, including Jerusalem. So we need another du -du 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 -du, 30, four more regions. That might take a while, but we're going to love it every step of the way. I'm enjoying myself so far, giving you people the chance to shape the campaign is making it more interesting for me as well, because I would never normally be down here doing a separate empire. It's like two separate empires. It's quite quite the juggling act, but quite fun at the same time. Okay. Now. 
This is the third part of the video. Uh, the third part of the video? Does that make sense? I don't think it does. What I mean to say is, this is the third part that I am recording today. I'm recording three parts today, so that I can upload them tomorrow morning. And therefore, this is the last part I will be doing today. <laughs> Hopefully that makes more sense. So, uh, seems like the perfect opportunity to give you people, once again, the chance to shape the crus uh, crusade. I've got crusade on the brain. To shape the campaign. Now, as we know, everything in the northern Europe is ticking over nicely. And also, now down south, we've got another settlement, a bit more stability. Everything is just quite nice and dandy. We're at war with nobody, so we can afford to take our chances in other areas. So, two missions to consider. Mission number one. Oh, a Holy Crusade has been launched again. Now, unlike last time, this time it's a little bit more touch and go. Now, the, the Crusade location is Vilnius. The Holy Roman Empires have been pissing the Pope off for a number of years. Pissed off the last Pope. This new Pope gave them a second chance, and they've managed to piss him off as well. So they deserve some kind of retribution. So, do we... First choice, do we crusade to Vilnius? Now, bearing in mind we are not too far away from Vilnius, it would only take us a short time to get there, but we would have to construct an army. I would say construct, recruit. <laughs> I will get it right one day. We will have to recruit an army and take them across, which may take a little bit of time. Uh, also, as I mentioned, the Pope is 61. He is going to die within eight turns, which is probably as long as it's going to take me to get across there. And if he dies within that time, I'm pretty sure, not 100%, some of you might be more sure than I am, but I'm sure that if he dies whilst the crusade is going on, then the crusade will be cancelled. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. And therefore, I think crusading against Vilnius at this time is a little bit null and void. Because, as I say, he's going to probably kick the bucket before we get there. That's my thinking. However, if you want me to take a chance and try it out anyway, let me know. Choice number one. Do I crusade to Vilnius? Yes or no? I'm not totally fussed about which general I take this time, so we'll, I won't be giving you a choice about which general. I'm just going to probably end up taking one of these guys. <coughs> Maybe Harold. He's 16. In fact, yeah, it would be Harold. If I do a crusade against Vilnius, it would be Harold that I would be taking. He's the youngest son of Robert. He's already down here. And it'll be good experience for him. So, do we crusade against Vilnius? Yay or nay? Bearing in mind what I've just discussed about the Pope. You may have better thoughts and a uh, better idea of what's going to happen under those circumstances. So that's the first choice. The second choice, as I've got another mission as well, again... Popey has ordered this mission as well. <coughs> there is some kind of heretic. Now, if he is he a, is he a priest? Is he a general? I don't know. I can't quite see him. But the Pope wants me to assassinate some kind of chap. Do I go on the assassination mission? Now, bear it in mind that my Mr. Toby here. He's really r killed. He's killed everybody else. Let's put in front of him, barring a couple of people. What's another one? Shall he go all? You know, it's only there. He's there, sir. He could probably get over here within about four turns. Should he go across and chop up Burutica? <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Should he go up there and slit the throat? of this heathen. Thousand Florins is in it. Hmm. So there are your two choices for the end of this part. Do we crusade against uh, Vilnius? There it is. And do we execute the heretic? Both missions are commissioned by the Pope. I'll leave those thoughts with you. And down here, we'll conclude with uh, the, s the fact that another settlement has been taken and uh, everything's looking good. So, 
there you go there's your three parts for this update hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have making them and I will update another three videos uh, within about three or four days because I'm getting the feeling that this uh, let's play is probably the people's most favorite out of the five I'm doing so I'll I'll strive to update this a little bit more regularly than the others so join me again next time cast your votes I'll see you soon